Would you recommend someone to go to this I did. place? I actually tried to have my daughter go there at one point. Oh, um, awful. Cinda. Over the years, I've talked to Ron about certain things. You know, you need to change this. You can't be doing that. Um, that is a, you know, a form of abuse. You can't be, you know, and we have, I've had those conversations with him. What was it that you counseled him he needed to stop because it was abusive? Uh, the non-talking, that they needed to do what's called couches and actually allow the girls to communicate um, because I realized that was my coping school and I was very comfortable with that. Mm -hmm. But I told him that that's crippling to some of the girls. And Anything else? And uh, things about uh, uh, making sure to document certain things that he needed to document. Mm -hmm. So even if there's a question of impropriety, you, you would still risk sending your daughter there? What, the spanking? No, I mean, this is clearly, at le you would admit that the school's at least controversial. Well, it is controversial, but you, but you understand would still I'm a send Christian your... too. I do believe, I don't believe in spankings and stuff like that. But you would but still send your daughter there. I would have, yes. Knowing if... that there's at least the possibility that what these women have experienced is, is accurate. But I was there for three years. I didn't experience what mm -hmm. they're experienced, mm -hmm. you know? You, you totally discount what they're saying. No, I believe that they were traumatized, but trauma doesn't equal abuse necessarily okay, okay. well so. I, i'm just curious that you would that you would that because as, as a parent if there was even the the remotest possibility exactly that there was some impropriety happening at some facility i wouldn't let my child would get it within 100 miles of there exactly. not not even if i didn't know it you know even if i didn't know for sure if I thought it was even a possibility, I wouldn't let my child get within 100 miles of there. Not saying that it's happening, just the question that it could possibly be happening, that's just a risk I wouldn't take because my most valued asset, my most precious assets in this world are my children yes. and my grandchildren. If there was even a question, I would not let them within 100 miles of that place. And see, I am curious. who I am today because yeah. of Hefzibah House and the teachings that I learned. Gotcha. And I understand your point of view. You think this school should be shut down? Absolutely. 100%. Okay. 100%. You think it should be shut down? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And on, on Polycom, Mary, you, you, got, you guys think it should be shut down? Oh, absolutely. Definitely, right now. Absolutely. Here's the problem. CPS could investigate a current complaint there, mm -hmm. but there are jurisdictional issues here. The state has no jurisdiction over this private religious school. That's right. Right. They have, there's no criteria. They have no jurisdiction. Child caring institutions and group homes operated by churches and religious ministries are exempt from child services licensure if it does not care for a child who is a delinquent and it does not operate for profit. So under those laws in Indiana, this place can operate off the radar without accountability. The only thing that can happen is if a specific uh, complaint is filed with Child Protective Services, then that specific complaint, that case can be investigated, but the school itself answers to no one.